This we don't have to grind, Ryan. This is different one. I really love those other dosa. You said problem. You like everything, Rinda. Oh, wow. Sometimes it comes, sometimes it doesn't. Okay, give me one more minute. We'll start the class. Mataji, what are we making in cooking class? Yes, I, I, I already put it in the chat. Let me put again, okay? Livan, very nice to have you in the class, Nana. And Samskriti Krishna also. We're making Good dosa. Cooking. We're making dosa. Dosa in cooking class. Okay. Dosa. Okay. Not ordinary dosa. That's dosa. Wait, okay. mommy, if it's cookie glass, then why should we be making dosa? Should be what kind of dosa are we making? Okay, I have I had checked the ingredients, Ryan. What kind of dosa are we making? This is a special dosa. Oh, wow, that is so smart. Yeah, special for Kartik and Kartik dosas. Ah. <laughs> dosas are not supposed to eat them in Kartik because it's made of Urudal. So we devotees are very talented. We'll fulfill our self-gratification some other way. <laughs> we are not going to stop it. <laughs> so actually, I thought Ryan is making some fun. Like uh, I don't even guess, but I realize now we cannot eat Urdha. That's why you. Yeah, that's why. Yeah, that's why I said this um, is the mother special with us. Devotees even make some other different ADs and very nice. Uh, so many YouTube videos are there. We can find Damodar special dosa idlis. Oh. Where you don't have to miss anything. Okay. Hare Krishna kids, let's start the class. I know a lot of children even having in temple programs like dramas, some programs because of Karthik, you have special things, right? In the temple. Okay, let's see this. So what is the book that we are reading? Bhagavad Pravaha, right? So who is who read, who wrote this book? Uh, Yasudev. Yes. Um. Yasudev uh, yes, wrote Bhagavad Pravaha. Darshan Das Prabhu. <laughs> yeah, Gaurang Darshan Prabhu has written this book for us. So what is it meant for? What what is it meant for actually? It's it's talking about what? This book talks about what? This book talks about Bhagavatam. Summary, whole summary of the Bhagavatam is talked is talk in this book. And this book is very thin, very easy way we can understand what is Bhagavatam. Before starting, we'll start with the prayers. Om Agnana Timirandasya Nyananjana Shalakaya Namaste Saraswati Yeah. 
हरे रामा हरे रामा राम रामा हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 लेट्स डू अ वेरी क्विक क्विक रिवीजन ओके रिवीजन रिवीजन एक्चुअली but i just wanted to do it so that we remember what we are reading very quick i will do okay so first initial class we saw that how uh when you go to a restaurant you ask what is the special that they make like how you know we we go to vasudeva because he has written all the upanishads puranas everything so we asked him what is what do you think which is best for for us so then he says that amala puran shrimad bhagavatam is a ripened fruit of all the scriptures so you have to study shrimad bhag yes ryan please ryan ryan please please i will i will quickly do this revision and i'll let you talk okay here are the cantos different limbs of krishna's body are divided into different cantos so i'll be asking quick revision seeing on the screen you guys need to quickly tell me first and second canto uh what is it the feet the feet the feet third and fourth canto Krishna dies. Fifth canto. Krishna's navel. Sixth canto. Krishna's chest. Seventh and eighth canto. Krishna's arm. Ninth canto. Krishna's arm. Listen carefully. Eleventh canto. Krishna's forehead. One for kids. I skipped one, but still you did a good job. Tenth canto. फॉर्म ऑफ ए बुक so we we know there are different ways of to approach lord krishna there is gnana yoga dhyana yoga so many yogas right so but what is the easiest way to approach krishna is bhakti yoga karma yoga we have gnana yoga bhakti yoga and dhyana yoga so bhakti yoga is the easiest way to approach krishna and how many verses shrimad bhagavatam has on the screen 1800 1800 No, look at eighteen thousand. Eighteen thousand. Eighteen thousand. Okay. How many chapters? Two hundred fifty-five. Fifty-five. How many cantos? Twelve cantos. Twelve cantos. So how can how can we learn Sri Mad Bhagavatam? How can I understand Sri Mad Bhagavatam? Just by reading, I cannot understand. How do I understand? I need to have faith. I need to have devotion towards Guru. I need to have respect towards Guru. When I serve my Guru Maharaj. that's when i understand shrimad bhagavatam so that's the thing and in the first canto we will see so many different characters like parikshit maharaj sukadev goswami vyasadeva narada muni vidura pandavas lord krishna all of this actually how did how did this bhagavatam started this bhagavatam started in naima sharanya where all the sages of naima sharanya assembled there to ask some question to suta goswami and suta goswami is, is saying the same thing what happened when sukade um, sukadeva goswami was hearing from sorry parikshit maharaj was hearing from sukadeva goswami in that assembly goswami. suta goswami was also there so whatever he heard there he is saying to this sages of naima sharanya so they asked six questions and those six questions are not only for them it is it is for the benefit of all the kali yuga people because kali yuga people does not have any knowledge they have less intelligence and they they are very low low span of birth within 40 years lot of people are dying because of the diseases right that's why uh, so they they wanted to help to the kali yuga people that's why they are asking all these questions six questions that we need to memorize um so what i will do is quickly some one of the adult kid can read all the six questions okay sanvi can you read the six questions quickly for me yes mata ji hmm. okay mata ji i can't see the screen oh you can't see the screen mata ji yes we can yes we can okay, okay param read Mata-ji. the questions param okay. read 
Okay, what is the ultimate good for humanity? Explain the essence of all scriptures. What is the purpose of Krishna's appearance? Describe the Purusha avatars. Narrate the pastimes of Leela avatars. Who is a shelter of, for religious principles after Krishna disappeared? So everything is centered in between Krishna. So what is a good? What is the going to be good? That is like. It is ultimate good doing devotional service. Where how can we do that? Doing the pure bhakti to Lord Krishna, and how how did Krishna has appeared? Is Krishna appeared in the various forms like Leela avatar, Guna avataras, all of this, right? Purusha avataras. Why did Krishna appeared to make um to establish the dharma again to uh, kill the demons and establish the dharma. So that all this is centered between Krishna. How can you find Krishna? How can you get closer to Krishna? By reading Srimad Bhagavatam. So like that we see. And we also saw the story of Vyasadeva. And we saw about Narada Muni's past uh, life story also. How Narada Muni was born as maid servant, some son. And how did he got a chance to be... Uh, Narada, all that story we saw, all uh, that recap we have seen. And in again, after that, we saw who, about Parikshit Maharaj. Sutta Goswami um, was uh, talking about King Parikshit Maharaj's um, birth. At that time, what happened? We all saw that day after Kurukshetra war, Dashvatama wanted to kill this five sleeping sons. He killed all the five sleeping sons. And then Brahmahastra, Arjuna got saved. And even Uttara, in the womb of Uttara, Parikshit Maharaj also got saved. But actually what happened after that, he have to immediately tell about what happened to Parikshit Maharaj after he got saved. But it was not narrated like that. Sutta Goswami did not narrate this one. But Sutta Goswami had got a little bit diverted. He talked about what? He talked about uh, how, um, you know, um, then how uh, Lord was about to leave uh, the Hastinapur. Queen Quinti was praying and all also Bhishma's prayers we saw um but they all this all this we saw which is diverted from the main thing we have to see about immediately after uh, Parkshit Mara saved then his uh, about his birth and everything we did not see but now um, he all we also saw how after after um Lord Krishna has left to Dwaraka. All everybody were feeling so much of separation from Krishna they were feeling so much heavy in the heart that Krishna has left so this this have this this pain or pleasure that we are getting in spiritual uh, in spiritual journey we can't measure with like an, a material thing it's not a material thing to measure it's 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 a blissful thing we can't measure and krishna was gone and everybody is sad all this story was uh, told to um, sages of naima sharanya but then now sages of naima sharanya was uh, even even we saw that how uh, in dwaraka how residents of dwaraka welcomed krishna they have welcomed with so many um, paraphernalia and everybody were so happy to see Krishna. And Krishna was also very happy. And after that, after welcoming is done, Krishna went into his palace and he was there with his queens. All this story we saw. But now they are asking, no, no, no. Please tell me about Parikshit Maharaj. Exactly what happened. We, 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 we heard about all of this, but we want to know exactly what happened to Parikshit Maharaj. So now we will see, describing the birth of the Parikshit, uh, Parikshit. Sutta Goswami went on describing the journey of Lord Krishna. Now Shonaka Rusi is reminding his question about uh, what happened to Parikshit Maharaj. So uh, what happened now? Now they are asking, oh, come on, tell me the birth, activities, death of Parikshit Maharaj. What exactly happened to Parikshit Maharaj? What happened first? Parikshit Maharaj was in the womb of Uttara. How did he saved? Uh, how did Krishna entered into the womb? Can you, anybody tell me? Raise your hand. How did he got saved? How did? Yeah. Krishna. <coughs> how did Parikshit Maharaj got saved? Okay, Sanvi, go ahead. Krishna entered in the form of Krishna entered in the form of Chaturbhuja form, and he was the size of a thumb and entered the womb of Uttara to protect Parikshit Maharaj. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So that's how Krishna saved um, Parikshit Maharaj. 
and then also they have talking about um, the qualities the qualities of parikshit maharaj parikshit maharaj is just like a okay this this slide does not have that give me a minute okay i'm going to open the other one mm -hmm. okay let me just quickly close this so now they will talk about the qualities of parikshit maharaj give me a minute okay okay this one I made two slides because I just want to do quick revision. Revision is always needed so that we know what we are reading. Otherwise, we will forget. Especially, I will forget. Okay, we are we saw all of this. Now, going on to today's class. Okay. Ah, now we will see the qualities of tomorrow's Halloween. Yes, yes. Tomorrow we have holiday. We don't want children to be missing anything outside. So we want all, we will give you holiday. You can nicely enjoy outside. No Yay! worry. Okay. Um, so, but I now, don't know if I'm going outside. Now, now, yeah, yeah. Now, now after that, after that, is, um, uh, Sudha Goswami describes about Yudhishthir Maharaj's qualities. How Yudhishthir Maharaj is like a father. He's ne he's never out of the uh, for the sense gratification. He's always for pleasing to the others for the pleasure for the others, not for his own. And he's very very he's he's always he's in opulence. He's in full of opulence, but still he does not does not want anything. He just was detached to everything, and he always wanted to serve Lord Krishna. That is what. He wanted that is the quality of Yudhishthir Maharaj. So we know that after the Kurukshetra war, Yudhishthir Maharaj is enthroned and he is the king of the um, king at that time. And now we also saw that how Parikshit Maharaj got saved in, in the womb. Then after that, Parikshit Maharaj was born. So now after Parikshit Maharaj was born, what happened? You see, at that at that time. What happens if when any any kid is born? What samskara they do? They 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 do all the uh, you know the uh, cradle function. All these uh, samskaras are there, right? At this at that time, Krishna um, Maharaj, what he did was because he does um, like Parikshit does not have father, so Parikshit has was in the handover of the Yudhishthira Maharaj. So he was completely taking care of Parikshit. So then what did he do? Yudhishthira Maharaj invited Brahmanas for the celebration. What all he did? He called a lot of Brahmanas. He gave them a lot of gifts, gold, everything. A lot of things he gave to them. Yeah. yeah. So then uh, what happened? At that time, he was asking um, to the Brahmanas to read the birth chart. So wh what is this birth chart? Actually, when a child born, they, they will take out the time of the birth. According to the time of the birth, they will read what is the signs of the uh, stars at that time, how this child is going to be. They, they can decide by just reading the, um, reading the chart of the baby. So like that, they, what they do, this is like kind of a ceremony. Every child, when they're born, they, they try to call the um, um, astrologer or brahmanas. They will write the birth chart for the child. So Yudhishthira Maharaj was asking Brahmanas, oh, what about my, my grandson? Uh, what is he going to become? Uh, how is he going to be? Will he go? Will he be in the path of the devotional service? What, what will be his future? Someone is talking. Who is that talking? Okay, okay. That's fine. Okay. So what will be his future? How will be he, he will be in, in devotional service or not? Like that he was asking. So can anybody, like I will give a chance to Raghav. Raghav and Ra, Rai Prahalad. Can you read this question? Can you read this, one, the this This translation for this reason? Okay. For this reason, this child will be well known in the world as one who is protected by the personality of Godhead. O oh, most fortunate one, there is no doubt that this child will become a first class devotee and will be qualified with all good qualities. 
Mm. So this child Parikshit Maharaj called as Vishnu Rata <laughs> means, means the, the person who is protected by Lord himself and he is also called as Bhagavan Rata means he is protected by Lord Bhagwan, Lord Krishna himself in the womb. And also here it is explained that when Pariksh when Lord Krishna was presented in the Uttara's womb, it doesn't mean that he was not presented outside. He was pre present inside and he was present outside. In Kunti's prayers we see, right? Um, what is that? Antar Bahir Avastitam. And even Bahi Narsima Prudhe Narsima. He was inside and outside. He's everywhere. Lord is everywhere. Right? That is what here it's explained. It is not like, okay, Lord has presented in the womb of Uttara, so it doesn't mean that Krishna was not there over that time. He was also there at that time, outside and inside. So then can, can someone read this? Uh, who is raising the hand? Okay, Devarsh Bala. Can you read this, the last one? Okay, Devarsh Bala, you're not unmuting. Okay, Samskriti, read. When Yudhishthira asked if he could, if he would follow in the footsteps of the saintly kings of the dynasty, as a comparison was made. Ah, so now Yudhishthira Maharaj was asking, "What will be my son? How uh, my grandson? How will he be?" So then Brahmanas will explain how great uh, Parikshit Maharaj is going to be turned. Like they were explaining that he will be like a king Ishwaku, the son of Manus, in maintaining of all those who are born. So he'll become like a great, great king like Ishwaku, and he also he is also like a Lord Brahma for following the Brahmanical principles, especially in being true to his promise. Right? He's never, he's never going to be cheat anybody. He's always truthful. That is the greatness of Parikshit Maharaj. He's going to be like that. And he's also going to be like a Sibi, Sibi king, the king Shibi. Uh, he is like a chariot, a big, big do donor he is. Anybody knows this Sibi Maharaj story? Okay, I will tell you. So then what happened is there was uh, this Sibi Maharaj was uh, there. And at that time, the um, one uh, doe, the small pigeon comes towards this Sibi Maharaj and says that, oh, you have to protect me. Then he says, yes, yes, I will protect you. But then the big eagle will come to eat this uh, doe. Then that eagle will say, how can you protect? I, I wanted to hunt this uh, pigeon. This is my food. You can't. Then Sibi Maharaj says that, yes, yes, one person is, um, uh, is a food for the other, other person. Like, you know, we as a humans, we eat plant food, right? But then animals need another animal. Like some animals need oh, eat meat. So they have to have their food to maintain themselves. So then uh, he says, Yes, yes, I, I need. Then, uh, okay, Um. then now what shall I do for myself? You cannot uh, eat, take my food. I need to eat. So then he says, Sibi Mara says, okay, okay. Sibi, the king says what he says. Okay, you take my flesh equivalent to this dough. Then I, you can leave this dough. But then what happens? He, he takes lump of um, flesh from his body. It will not be sufficient. So then what he says is, okay, take out my, take, take, eat myself, but don't eat this, leave, right. leave it. So he's such a great, uh, great, uh, you know, chariot. He's a protector. He's, he's a protector for the surrendered people. Because Parikshit Maharaj, after Yudhishthir Maharaj, Parikshit Maharaj only going to be the king. And he have to be, right? He have to be. The king is need to protect all the people in general. Whoever is taking shelter under him, he needs to be protecting them. And he's also like a Bharat, Bharata. Uh, his name and fame will be expanded like anything. And he's like a very good bowman, um, archer, very good archer. And then he he's like he, he, like so many things. He's like an ocean, and he's like a lion who is very strong. He's like a Himalayan mountain worthy to take shelter. And someone is taking shelter under Himalayan mountain, they're always safe. They say right. He's he's having so much of patience, like earth in uh, tolerance. He's like he's very tolerant because like a parent. Parents are very, very tolerant. Like children are doing so many things. Parent does not feel anything, even though they are like Krishna, right? Krishna is called as our father. 
even though we are doing hundreds of mistakes from life after life, still he is there within us, like a Paramatma is residing in our heart. So that is what that is what you can see the quality of Parikshit Maharaj also like a parent, and it's like like Brahma and um, like like Shiva. He's like also like Lord Shiva. So uh, he's as good as Krishna because he's following in the footsteps of Krishna. We say, right, uh, our spiritual masters are as good as Krishna because they just follow Krishna. So if you are serving Krishna, your, your spiritual master, you are serving Lord Krishna also. And King um, Ranti Deva, he, this, this, uh, this person's story is also very, very nice. So he is the King Ranti Deva is a, is a very good charioteer. He is also like that. So what happens is he does a lot of the austerity for many years. And then finally he was ready to eat something. At that time, so many people will come. Like one person will come and ask for water. Somebody will ask for the food. And everything he will give. At last he is nothing to eat for him. Even though he's hungry so much, he wants food for himself. He didn't think about himself and he wants to give it to others. That's the greatness of King uh, Ranti Deva. So like that is, is the same quality of Parikshit Maharaj is also going to have. Now he's like, he's still, now it's a small baby, just born. And they're seeing all these characters, even though, even before he's grown up, uh, the chart of the baby is able to tell, okay, but this baby is going to be like that. So he is in very good in religion and he is in patience like ba Bali Maharaj. He is having a lot of patience. So like that, they, uh, like that, all the qualities, uh, Brahmanas were telling all the qualities. Can someone read this text? Uh, I will give you a chance. Who did not get a chance? Isha. This child? Uh, okay. Can you read that? This child will be father, the king, father the, of kings who will, will be like sages for world peace and for the snake of religion. He will be the chastiser mm. of the upstairs, uh, upstarts, and the quarrelsome. Quarrelsome. Yeah, he he will be like uh, he's going to fight with this Kali Yuga people. He's going to be make sure that this Kali Yuga people are going to be in the right path. So that is the greatness of this king. Uh, and next text, so somebody raised hand. Uh, okay, Sanvi, go ahead and read this text. After hearing about his death, which will be caused by a bite of a snake bird sent by the set of a Brahmana. He will get himself free from all material att attachment and surrender unto the personality of Godhead, taking shelter of him. Yeah. Now, after describing all the great qualities of uh, Maharaj Parikshit, that sages also, the Brahmanas also will tell, right? The, the chat will talk about birth to death, all the activities it will talk. So now they will also talk about how Parikshit Maharaj is going to die. So they will talk about this, that, you know, how he's, he'll get cursed by a Brahmana son. And then finally, the Taksha bird will come and kill. At that time, he will be completely surrendered to the Supreme Personality of God. And by hearing this, Yudhishthya Maharaj will not be feel any sad. He will say, okay, because at last, my grandson is going to achieve this, achieve the final goal that he is going to understand the supreme personality of God and he is going to reach there. That is how Yudhishthira Maharaj is also completely detached about 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 his grandson. He's not worrying. Oh, what will happen to my grandson? He's not thinking anything like that. He's okay, like that. The Parikshit Maharaj um, going uh, all the things they have told, and after this, after this, what happened? The Yudhishthira Maharaj gave a lot of gifts in return to Brahmanas and he fed them very nicely. And not only for Brahmanas, the person who comes to the ceremony, right? For them also, they got the gifts like gold gifts, everything, lot of nice, nice gifts they got. Like you see, in, in, if you go to birthday parties, you get these written goodies, right? Goodie bags. Yes, you all get goodie bags from your friend's birthday party. You yeah. only not take your birthday yeah. gifts yeah. to them. But they also give you some gifts in handbag, right? 
very yeah. small small gifts like that parikshit maharaj birth ceremony also was happening all the people came around and um, yudhishthira maharaj also distributed some written gifts to them very nice gifts like gold silver and like that it is said that actually we should also do that when something auspicious thing happening now kartik is happening it's good to donate to brahmanas some nice things some gold some silver like that we have to donate to the devotees but we don't have that much of ability to donate because we might not have lot of money to donate but in our heart if you pray to krishna krishna i am i am offering this to uh, my guru please uh, you know please you make uh, you know you just pray to krishna that krishna please i am offering this to you please accept it i am offering this to guru maharaj please accept it in your mind you can offer it but still it has the same benefit of offering it directly because krishna is bhava uh, bhavagrahi janardana they say right according to the mood he will manifest if you want to offer to him he will take it and it is also said that in kartik we have to take in the ba ba um, bath in the ganges so how can i take in bath in ganges i am living in america right so what do we do when we are taking bath we call ganga 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 three times and we pour water on our head so what happens ganga devi will manifest chilla jepatak swami maharaj my guru maharaj always says that when you are taking bath you need to call ganga devi and the ganga will come and he, it manifests in our water and we take bath so that's how we get credit of taking bath in ganges so same way when you want to donate something so let's say now it is kartik going on we all wanted to go to temple every day and offer ghee lamp over there to uh, yashoda damodar but it is not possible look at me i stay very far from the temple it is very difficult even to go weekly once so what i do i pray to krishna krishna i am offering this lamp in my altar but please you know radha kalachenji radha neela madhav please accept this in your in in the temple there i can i can imagine the deities in front of me and i can offer so it also have the equal benefit of offering directly going into the temple and offer same way if you want to go to govardhan parikrama all this parikrama whatever parikramas you want to go you can also meditate and you can do like that so then next what happened yes someone who wants to speak okay that's fine so then after that now parikshit is growing up he is becoming big what is he thinking he is is why is his name called parikshit because he is examined oh is this a person that i saw in the oom is this a person that i saw in the oom this is what he is thinking always in the brain so that is why his name called as parikshit he is a examiner and he is growing like very very good boy like all of you are growing right in a nice and krishna conscious way he is always thinking about lord and and he when he was very small, small he used to play with the dolls of uh, um, dolls and where is shila prapad in of one of the purport he is writing that how he was growing when he was child like that like he was playing we all know shila prapad had a deities right he used to pretend play with his deities so he is telling this is how all the kids need to grow that's why we all have krishna dolls we all have dolls yes or no yes yes, yes. we all have dolls why right? Remember, I sent a picture to you. Yes, I, I I know that Ryan has a dolls. Yes, I know that Ryan has a dolls. So that is why we all have dolls, so that we can play with them, so that we can relate to them. And also, Shila Prapa says, now we are you are all small. You all got nice time to do Krishna consciousness, but when you grow big, maybe you are tenth grade, ninth grade, and you don't have time to attend these classes and all that. But still, you are studying. You are doing your duty, like Arjuna did his duty to fight. right even now, that at that time you might do your duty to finish your education it's okay if you are keeping your krishna consciousness aside but when you are small at this age you are giving your whole time to krishna what will happen is once your education is finished you are busy your busyness is done with the studies when you will come back again like how shila prabhupad when he went to the college to study he kept his radha krishna dts in his one box and he closed and he locked it one day radha krishna came into the dream and asked him to remove those deities from there and then he started again uh, worshiping 
so like that when when we are very small when we give our time completely to krishna krishna will call us when we are uh, busy and then we we forget him he will pull us he will drag towards him and he will say oh uh, sanvi why why did you forget me devarsh bala you became big you you went to 10th grade now forgot madhav you forgot me like that he is going to call you all kids and we will just go back to krishna consciousness and we'll start again chanting and do all these things so after this after describing about parikshit maharaj and everything how parikshit maharaj is growing then uh, the sutta goswami also says about yagna that uh, yudhishthir maharaj is going to perform ashwamegha yagna <laughs> why he performs this yagna because he is very sad that he killed a lot of people in the war so that's why he performs so to perform this what happens is he needs lot of wealth so at that time lord krishna will help okay you go to the northern side is is it north yeah i think it's north side uh, north side and there um, there is king uh, maruta they he in long ago before even uh, yudhishthir maharaj was there it was king maruta who was there in that region uh, he he was having all of this and he left it there after he perform this yagna you can bring that and you can take it so all that paraphernalia he brings and he does the um, this ashwamedha yagna and this all yagna will be performed so like that after this yagna has performed then what will happen is we will see this um, uh, thing uh, in meanwhile what happens is Uh, we we know that vidura is a very very good uh, person he is always a righteous person and he has a brother who is brother of vidura who is the brother of vidura hi nobody knows uh, dashrata maharaj and pandu maharaj yeah dashrat maharaj right yes here we are talking about dashrat maharaj only and he always wanted to guide dashrat maharaj about good things oh please you don't need to you don't need to fight with uh, uh, pandavas uh, please please leave them uh, you just give them the land don't do like that but then you know uh, um, dashrata um, um, sorry um dhritarashtra he will he will guide uh, dhritarashtra sorry i'm sorry he will guide dhritarashtra like that and then what happened dhritarashtra has the son who is that duryodhana ah duryodhana so duryodhana will get very much angry about this uh, that how can you guide how can you guide my father like this and how dare you to say that we have to give the land to them no way you have to just get out of this place you, uh, and he, he will see that i am not going to give you anything uh, you will just i am just leaving you uh, without killing that itself is a gift for you you just leave so now vidura got um, uh, vanished from that hastinapur and he was he, he did not get sad he was not sad and he was not morose and he was not crying oh krishna krishna uh, i you know dhritarashtra and duryodhana had did to me like this what will i do where shall i go nothing he did he was just he was just okay he accepted what had happened he used that bad situation into a good way how did he use he went to pilgrimage and he met where udava maitreya he met udava and maitreya first he meets udava and he learns some uh, good things about lord krishna then he meets maitreya he also learns many things he asks lot of questions to maitreya it uh, maitreya says all these answers that in turn is like third and fourth canto you will see detail explanation how maitreya um, and vidura conversation udava and vidura conversation you will see all of the details so what is this whole story here it is like when there is a bad situation in our life we cannot be in um, you know depressed ourselves we have to use that bad situation to be a positive thing i need to use this situation somehow i need to use this situation and get out of this uh, problem and um, go higher you you need to go higher right how is this possible when we completely surrender to krishna when we completely surrender to krishna automatically whatever situation is coming in front of us even though it's very very bad we can pass that situation and go forward only by the mercy of krishna and guru so this is the story for today anybody want to share anything before that i quickly wanted to share the ingredients here in the chat box
Do you yes. all have a cooking ingredients? Yes, Mother Ji. Hari Krishna Jarvi. Yes, anybody wanted to share anything from today's class? Me. Cooking class is starting. Yeah, no. cooking class. We need one cup of wheat flour, one cup of rice flour. Okay, let me go. Okay, Madhav, do you want to share anything from today's class? What did you understand? Yes. What did you understand, Madhav? Yes. Tell me, what did you understand? Should have good association of how the world depends. Ah, good job, good job. Vidura took whose association there? Maitreya? Udava. Udava. That's a good association for him. So that's how he will, he gets developed Lord Krishna's more love for Lord Krishna and then he goes back and we will see what happens when Vidura will go back to Hashnastidapur after all this pilgrimage and what happens, we will see later in tomorrow's class. Okay. So, who else want to share? Devas, do you want to share something with what you like today's all class? Okay, Devas is not speaking. Tell Mataji, you need to be serving Krishna with him like Parikshit Maharaj. And you said, you should like go in Parikshit Maharaj. Okay. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Sanvi, there is no any more in, no ingredients. No more ingredients. Only three ingredients we need. Wheat flour one cup, rice flour one cup, and suji one cup. Put in the bowl, add some salt, and nicely mix with your hand. Pour water and mix with your hand. Make it like a dosa batter. Like this. I will show you. I'm taking my laptop over there. Yes, yes Sanvi wants to say, say something. So yeah. One second, I forgot to take the attendance. I will just click the picture so that I have attendance. So, Mataji, um, I am no. outside. So I can't really cook. So, I will no just leave. Is it okay if I make it next time? So, can I please leave? Oh, yeah, yeah, you can leave. You can leave, Sanvi. No problem. This is this is especially for Damodaman because usually dosas are made by Uruddhar, right? We use Uruddhar to make uh, dosas. But in the Amudaman, we don't eat Uruddhar. So, hey, Mantaji, what are we making? Dosa. Instant oh. dosa. You need rice flour, one cup. Yes, Mantaji. Wheat flour, one cup. And suji, one cup. Mantaji, I'm already mixing. In a... Yeah. Yes. Yes. Mantaji. Oh, Mantaji. Ah. Who is that? I'm already mixing mine. Oh, very good. Who Wait, else how, is much how much salt? How much salt? A little bit to the taste, okay? Do okay. the taste. One okay. teaspoon, like that. Okay. Mataji, how about we can add a yogurt a little bit? Ah, yeah, you can add, Mataji. It will come very nice if you add yogurt. Take yeah, buttermilk. Away. Buttermilk, if you add, it will come very nice. Make it my way in the world. It tastes, it, it tastes even better. Yeah, make it my way in the world. I'll tell you. <laughs> See, mine, I already mixed and kept it. I'm going to show you. Make it my way in the world. So, I have this. Um... What liquid do we use? What liquid do we use for um the dosa? Water, water only. If someone wants to use a buttermilk, it will be very good. Little buttermilk also, it will be very tasty. See, oh, it's, it's already clumsy. mixed. It's clumsy. Yeah, I will mix it well and then. I'm going to start my pan and put. You can eat with a ketchup or a chutney. Even chutney also, if you have a dry coconut powder, you can add some water. And cook it in the uh, microwave for one minute. And then um, 
and add a little bit of yogurt in there and add salt then um, a little bit of chili powder then that becomes a chutney without even cooking yogurt, in the oven. yogurt buttermilk matcha tea yeah yogurt or buttermilk anything in the water instead of water you can add little bit of butter rice milk also everybody got is there anybody having doubt make sure the there is no lumps because it forms a lot of lumps and sometimes even i add eno eno also it helps to make the dosa very nice eno also how much curd how much curd ah how much curd little bit little bit is no like you know actually you can put water completely but if you want little bit half cup of uh, yogurt you take and add it it will taste very good put half cup okay ma'am okay ma'am it gives the flavor mata ji it, it it makes more tasty and little bit of you know because if, yeah, if it, it will it will nicely puff like how for tuji it also you put you know it tastes ah. very good like that sure mata ji thank you mata ji yeah. thank you All Karthik, I make these dosas only because. Mata ji, uh, we're supposed to add one cup water. Water, water. See, it depends upon the flour because uh, wheat, right? It will take. See, this like this is. It should be like this. Ah, oh, okay. Let me remove my background. Yeah. See like this. Yeah, I'm just going to do. Whole Kartik, uh, we this dosa only. And next time we can make suji idlis, suji idlis, or also without urud dal. I swear what? Oh yeah, I think he said that. He... What happened, uh, uh, Rai Prahlad? You have any question? No, he said that I'm sorry, but I can't do that right now. Mother, I'm going out of my house. Oh no worries, no worries. Whoever can make it, you can make it. Otherwise, that's completely fine. While we are making, anybody wants to say some sloka? Okay, Mother, recite one sloka for me. You would never choose me, mommy. Any one yeah. prayer, any one. Yeah. Bishwa prayer, you know. Gachendra prayer, any one sloka. Kunti prayer, any one sloka. Brahma samet one sloka, any one. I know the tenth chapter. Okay, tell tell one sloka. ओके यजे विभूति मत्सत्व श्रीमद् दुर्जित मेवव सत्तदेवव गच्छत्व मम तेजुंश संभव वेरी नाइस सी लाइक दिस हाउ नाइसली दोस आर कमिंग वेरी गुड एनीबॉडी वुड लाइक टू सी इट 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 कम्स ऐड अ लिटिल बिट ऑफ इनो इनो इज ऑप्शनल समटाइम्स इफ यू डोंट पुट आल्सो इट विल कम वेरी नाइस सी वाओ कैन यू ऑल सी दी दोस Yeah. Yes, it comes like a regular dosa only. It tastes very good also. Yeah. Mataji, you know what I'm going to be for Halloween? Ah, na na. I'm going to be for a holiday. Enjoy kids nicely wherever I'm you want to go. go enjoy. Who's going to come and pick me up? Father Binda, what is he going to? What are you going to be for hey, Halloween? Please, right? let's post the picture, okay? If you make those up, please post the picture. I'm going to be anything, Ryan. I'm just going to wear a dress, put some hearts on my face, and then put a a um a crown. Okay, That's okay, all. Okay. Wait, I'm not. Ryan, Ryan, can you say me one sloka? Me? Huh. Okay. We got the me the walk it that with Nayam Bhuta Parita. Wanna boo ya? Ajonitya. Ajonitya. Shashvato ya purano. Purano. Na anya dehadya va. 
Kitty ding. This is my lava lamp. This is my lava lamp. Okay. So who is there, Tushita? Any prayer? Gachita prayer, one sloka or anything? If everything is counted, this month one sloka you are telling is equal in thousands of slokas. What I do about um, can you check if this consistency is okay? Oh, little more water. Little, little. more water. Okay. Patram Pushpam Karam Kayam Yame Bhakta Prayatmati Tadam Bhakta Uparitam Ashmani Priyatatuna Wonderful, Tushita. You said 100 slokas now. You know? Did you say 100 slokas now or one sloka? One shloka. But it is equivalent to 100 slokas. I request you to recite every day yeah. one sloka at least, okay? Good job. Madhav recited. Devarsh Bala, did you recite it one sloka for me? I did it. Okay, Devarsh Bala is not there. Okay, Bala Brinda, recite. Okay. Um. <laughs> Okay, very good. Okay, Janani. Mataji. I ink a concham nana water. It got you. Yes, Okay. Yes, 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 Janma dia seta when you are the data, shot a savage yasura. They deba my dia, the color. Hold on, Janma dia seta when you are the data, shot a savage yasura. They neba my dia, the color. Moy and the they job I did on the Dali Nivayo, get that the Shago Mesha. Damna Sena Sadam in Ashtakurka, Satyam Param di Mahi. Very good, thank you. See, look at the dosas. Mataji, they look like normal dosa. They look like normal dosa. That's what I'm saying. They look like normal dosa and they taste super, super good. Instant. No need to grind, no need to do all really big things. Like my mom wants to see it. Okay, okay. One more time. Okay. Mataji? Mataji, Mataji, look at this. Oh, yes, Mataji. It looks like a really normal dosa. <laughs> <laughs> normal dosa. I taste very good. Mataji? And you know, in India, in the summertime, this panakam, maadipandu juice, right? They make this and they make these doses and need like anything. <laughs> Keep eating only. Don't no stop me. <laughs> okay. It, did anybody did not get a chance to recite Sloka? Sanskriti? Yeah, I did not. Okay, Palvit. Palvit, go ahead. Okay, fine. But the spots took. But the spots took on the. Place you already got the last I'm a big respected Jedison. I'll be a tire that there's a thumb they have a beer of a pity. Palvit recited now hundred slokas. Did you recite it hundred or one? I I do next one. You did hundred or one? You did one, but it is equal to hundred. So I want you to recite every day. Mother Ji, I'm um, reciting um, some slo um, slokas from Bhagavad Gita as it is every day. Chapter 12. Yeah, chapter oh, 12. Good job, good job. This is the dosa. Isha and Vikram, get my phone from there. Take a picture. I do, I do 12 chapter every day. Oh, and we recite 12 chapter. Okay. Isha and Vikram, one sloka, please. Evam param para prata mema rajasya yo vidhu sahakir neha mahata yoko nashta parantapa. 
Okay, very good. Good job. Good job. Okay, who is next? Can you hear me, Matashi? Yes, yes, now I can hear you. Oh, okay. I think my... Yeah, I'm staying. I don't know why it's not going to... Oh, okay, okay, it's not coming. That's fine. No problem. Who is it? Krishna Naina. Krishna Naina. I used another floor because I didn't have the rice floor, so I think this is the best consistency I can get. Okay, ah, yeah, now it'll come, it'll come. Okay. Yum yum va pis maram ba vam chadat kante kale varam tam tamay vaiti kante ya sadatat ba 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 Wait, you already got I see some other kids who did not get. Ram Chandra did not recite anything. Anything, Ram Chandra? Srimad Bhagavatam, Ramayan, you are Rama, you want to research something from Ramayan? I don't know anything from Ramayan. <laughs> huh? I don't know anything from Ramayan. Oh, yo, yo, Rama, you need to learn one sloka. There is one, <laughs> hey, Ramchandra, there is one sloka which talks about whole Ramayan. You have to learn that. Okay. Okay, you please learn. It's very nice. And your name is Rama, right? You need to learn something from <laughs> Okay, any sloka you can recite. Okay, good job. So, who else remaining who did not get a chance to recite a sloka? That is me. I did not get a chance to say sloka. Now I should find what sloka I have to say. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, I will say one. Nityananda vadu tindur vasuda prana vallaba jana vinji vita patihi krishna prema prada prabhu I have one more. Vati suta sriman sachinanda na purvaja bavun matto jagatrata rakta gaura kalevara Okay. And this one. Papaji, can I see you? Natvadiya padapanka japanjarantam Atyaiva meva visto manasara jahamsa Prana prayana samaye kafavata pittai Kanta varodana vido smaranam putaste Okay. Who wants to say? Someone was saying I want to say something. Let me send a picture. If you make dosa, please send a picture. it's okay, you can just leave it. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. In this month, Rajendra prayer recitation is very good. I know one. can I say one? Okay, tell. Janavi, after that, Ryan. Janavi, tell. Okay. I want to say from the Ramayana. Okay, tell. Okay. Nara dasya tu tatva kyan shrutva vyakya vrsha sarata pujayama sadharma matma sahasisya mahamuni. Oh, very good. 
Matthew, can I say one? Huh? Can I say one? Yes, yes. Dharma Shritri Guru Shritri, Sama Veda Yustava, Mama Ka Pandava Shiva, Kimi Guru Vida Sanjaya. Oh, very nice. Okay, is there anybody? Okay, now it's almost 6 30. And thank you everyone for joining. Tomorrow is holiday. And so please, yeah. children, if, so if you at all make dosa, please post it in the group. Okay, I'll be very happy. And we will learn next week. Next week, we will learn Idlis. Whenever I teach, we'll learn Idlis. Yeah. This week, we are doing uh, dosas, right? Next week, we will see Idlis without Uruddal. Wow. Okay, we'll put nice cashews in there and then we'll make it. Is that okay? Okay. Bye bye, kids. Vancha kalpa taro biasi kripa sindhu biyevacha patidanam pavane biyo vaishnavi biyo namo namananta koti vaishnavi rindu ki jai. Shila prabhu pad ki jai. All little ki jai. Bye bye. Happy Halloween.